So, welcome to Tai Chi. This is a beginner friendly Tai Chi and this is gonna be lesson number one. Next week, I'll do another Tai Chi lesson and we'll repeat this, um, but build on it. So we're gonna start with a little bit of warm up. So we're just gonna lift onto the tiptoes and then come back down. You're just gonna see if you can kind of hover on your tiptoes a little bit and then come on back down. Lift, hover, oh, maybe stretch a little bit if it lets you and then come on back down. We're gonna do it one more time. Lift and hover. Oh, come on back down. Now once you get back down, you're gonna put one foot on the ground so that your heel is in the air. And then we're just gonna kind of circle around on the ball of the foot. So we get a little bit of movement going in the hip socket, the knee and the ankle. And essentially I'm just drawing a circle around the edge of the ball of my foot. And then go the other direction. Shake that leg out, put that guy down, and when you're ready, switch to the other side. So again, we're just gonna draw a circle around on the ball of the foot. Try to kind of experiment with that range of motion, find the one that works best for you. Go the other direction. Give that guy a shake. And then we're gonna take the, um, the knees just into a slight bend, a little bit of a softness around the hip, and then you're gonna spin from your waist and just let your arms go along for the ride. When I was a little kid, I would try to get my arm to go all the way around from behind and touch my belly button, and I could almost do it. <laughs> but now I can't get anywhere near there. <laughs> just let your arms go wherever they go. We'll do this for a little bit longer. My arms must have gotten shorter. <laughs> uh, okay, two more. And <laughs> two. Okay, so now we're gonna pause in the center, take one arm up and one arm down, and reach between those two points. It could turn into a little bit of a side bend. Reach between those two points. You can even like stretch up through the foot. Oh. Reach. Reach, reach, oh, reach, one more on this side, oh, okay, so we're going to roll the shoulders up, around, and back, oh. and then go the other direction with your shoulders. Okay, and we're gonna do the wrists. So once you're done with the shoulders, give your wrists a little spin. Oh, go the other direction. Spread the fingers out, get them big, 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 and squeeze them in. Spread them out. How big will they go? And squeeze them in, and spread them out. And squeeze them in. Okay, one more time. Okay, give your fingers a little wiggle. Give everything a little shake. Oh, okay, so we're gonna start with a posture called the heaven posture. And the heaven posture means that we bring the legs together so the heels touch. We're gonna leave the toes open like a little bit of a V. It's not like first position in dance where your feet are spread out like that. It's just a little V. Um, but it makes it feel like you're kind of zipping yourself up. There's a little sense of kind of posture to it. So this is the heaven posture. So the arms are gonna start by floating up. And when we get to about chest height, the palms are gonna face each other. We get to about chest height, we're gonna bend the knees and bringing the elbows back, shift all your weight into your right foot. Step forward with your left foot and hand someone a ball. Okay, then your right foot is gonna follow and you're gonna be hips distance apart. That's the earth posture. And then we're gonna pause there. So arms are gonna expand. You might have to back up in your room <laughs> and go back together. Okay, so let's talk about that part. 
This part is called a qigong breath, and we're going to do a qigong breath a couple of different times. So the way the qigong breath works is I start with my hands about the same distance apart as my head, or maybe like a dodgeball, and then I'm going to go out to just past my shoulders and come back in. So it's inhale and exhale. Okay, so that's your qigong breath. And if you can imagine that you've got like a little ball of energy between your hands, you might even be able to feel the static electricity that lives there around you. And the static, you know, your field, your electromagnetic field, you might be able to feel that. So there it is, that's your qigong breath, okay? So this first move is called opening the door. We start with the heels together. And I just pause, usually I take a moment to spread out my toes and feel myself connected, right? To the earth and to my body. And then we're gonna let the knees get soft, the arms are gonna start to float, the weight shifts into the right leg. You're gonna step forward and hand someone a ball, the arms move forward like you're handing that ball off. And then step your other foot forward about hips distance apart. When your weight is centered, inhale, qigong breath and exhale, come back together. So let's try that again. Bring in the heels together. Arms float up, a little soft in the knees. We're going to step forward, hand someone a ball. Step forward, other foot, hips distance, qigong breath. And you can emphasize the qigong breath. It can get bigger. This is not a, a precise Tai Chi practice. Um, if you were going to do Tai Chi as a martial art practice, um, you would want to be more precise. What we're doing is what I like to refer to as um, Tai Chi for health or Tai Chi for mental um, um, calmness, Tai Chi for uh, peace. <laughs> so it's really just you can kind of allow yourself a little bit more um, uh, room to move. All right, so let's do that again. And then we're going to add another move on to this. So we're going to start with our heaven posture. <sighs> Let yourself sink in. Arms are floating up. We're going to step forward and hand someone a ball. Opposite leg steps forward. Qigong breath. All right. Then the palms are going to turn away from you like you're kind of pushing forward. This is the beginning. And then we're gonna step out to our right and let the right hand go out like a big circle. Now, for any reason you're having trouble with the view, because I don't know what the mirroring is here, just go with whatever arm you think is right. <laughs> It'll be fine, like it won't matter if you go the wrong direction. Okay, so let's try that again. So we did the Qigong breath at the end of our opening. Palms turn forward. Step out to your right, draw a big circle, and then come back. Bring your foot back when you bring your arm back. So this movement is called single whip, okay? So let's try that again. Qigong breath, palms turn forward, step out, lean into it, bring your weight back, step back in, okay? So that's our single whip. Let's put those two moves together. So starting with our heaven posture, nice big breath, exhale, let yourself slide into your body, inhale, bring the ball, okay, we're going to step forward with the left foot and hand someone that ball, right foot follows, qigong breath, palms turn forward, step out to your right or wherever you're stepping. <laughs> Single whip, come on back. Good, let's do it again. Heaven posture. Sink in, arms float up. Step forward, hand someone a ball. Right foot follows, qigong breath. Palms turn forward. Step out, come back, okay. Now we're gonna learn another move, and this is the last move we're gonna learn for today. And this move is called waving hands like clouds. And ultimately what we're trying to do is evoke the movement of clouds through the sky, soft, airy, 
very floaty. Now, if you were to Google uh, or <laughs> YouTube search Tai Chi, you will see people who move like rippling silk. And I have never been able to pull that off. <laughs> so mine looks more like an oxen attempting to be graceful. And so uh, if you're curious <laughs> about what actually moving like clouds looks like, you can definitely Google that. But here's the way we're gonna do it. So we did our single whip, our step out, and our step back. Now, when you get here, you're gonna switch which hand is on top. And essentially what we're doing with the hands is stop, I need to check the bath water, okay? So stop, I need to check the bath water. Hopefully you can see that. So then we're gonna step out and we're just gonna turn the body. When we get to the point where we can't turn anymore, you're gonna step in and then change which hand is on top, okay? So then we're gonna come across, turn your body, stop, I need to check the bath water. When you get to the corner, change hands, step out, okay? come toward you, step in, come back, okay, we're going to do it one more time, step out, step back, okay, and then we'll do a qigong breath at the end of that, all right, so let's review just the hand movement, okay, the hand movement is we started at single whip, so I went out and I came back. I'm gonna switch which hand is on top, stop and check the bath water, turn at the waist. When you can't turn anymore, you switch. Come across your body. When you get to the corner, you turn the other direction, okay? And again, you can do whatever you want with your hands. This is the movement, but if you wanna make it a little more fanciful, you can do that. There's lots of different Tai Chi forms, so you can maybe borrow from them. So we're gonna go across, and across. Okay, so that's the arm movement. Just keep going. We're gonna just do this for a little bit longer. Kinda of get that rhythm for it. We're not in a hurry, but we're also not, um, you know, we're not dilly-dallying too much. We're just letting the body kind of slowly shift. Imagining that idea that the clouds are shifting really gently in the sky. Okay, so then when we get to the center, we're gonna do it one more time this way, because that is generally how we finish. So when you get to here, after we do three of them, we're gonna do another inhale and exhale, okay? So let's move, let's do the leg work. So the leg work for single whip is step out, step in, okay? Then for wave hands like clouds, we're gonna step out, shift all the weight. When this leg is empty, come on back in, okay? Step out, shift the weight. When that leg is empty, we step in. One more time, we're gonna do three of them. Step out, when that leg is empty, step in. Now, we're gonna do it backwards, so we're gonna go that way. We're gonna step out. When, that, when this leg is empty, I'm gonna step in, okay? Shift the weight, step out, shift the weight, step in, okay? Shift your weight, so you're going into this leg. That makes this leg empty, and we can step it out. Shift the weight, step it in. Let's do it one more this way. Go in this way. Step out, shift the weight, step it in. We're just gonna keep going like this, but we're gonna go this way now. So I'm gonna shift my weight, I'm gonna step out and shift my weight into that leg. When this leg no longer has weight on it, I bring it in, that's called an empty leg. Now shift all the weight to that leg, so this leg is empty, step out. Shift all the weight over, step in, okay? Shift all the weight over, Step out, shift all the weight over, step in, okay? Let's go the other direction because we're kind of running into furniture. <laughs> step out, shift your weight, step in. Shift your weight, step out. It's almost like dance steps and in a slower motion, step in. 
shift your weight, step out, shift your weight, step in, okay? I know, so here's the good news. If for whatever reason, that part is a struggle, just do the one part, do just the arms or do just the legs and it'll come together over time. So we're gonna try putting this whole thing together and see how it goes. And then we'll just keep doing it over and over again until we run out of time. Okay, so starting with our heaven posture and with enough room in front of us that we can step forward one time. And don't worry too much about getting it right today. We're just moving in space and any way we move is gonna be different. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna sink in, the arms are gonna come up, I'm gonna step forward and hand someone a ball. Right foot follows, hips distance apart now, and then take a breath, and back. Okay, shift your weight, because we're gonna step out to the right, draw a circle, and normally I would keep my eyes glued to this hand, but for now we're gonna just follow the hand that's moving, okay? Then we're gonna take the hands and switch them, and then rotate the body, and step in. Here we go. Rotate your body, shift the weight, step out. Rotate your body and shift your weight, step in. Rotate your body, we're gonna do it one more time. Step out, rotate your body, shift your weight, step in. And then we're gonna do a cheek on the breath. Now to get back where we came from, we're gonna go backwards. So we're gonna do single whip. So the hands are gonna float out in front of us, draw a circle, come back, switch your hands, step out, shift the weight, step in. And if you can picture clouds in your head while you do this, all the better. One more time, so we're gonna step out, and step in, and then we're gonna do a Qigong breath. All right, then we're gonna come back to our heaven posture and try it again, here we go. Sink, arms are gonna float up. We're gonna step forward, hand someone a ball, Right foot follows hips distance, big breath, and back. Single whip, hands float, palms forward, step out, and come back. Switch your hands, step out, and in. Step out. And in. And one more time. Step out. And in. And when we get to the center, we're going to pick up the hands, Qigong breath. And back. Hands float forward. Step out the other direction. It's our single whip. And then wave hands like clouds coming across. And in. Yep, just let yourself get into the rhythm of it. Don't worry if it's right or wrong. Just getting into the rhythm. One more time. Come to the center. Big breath. And back. So we're going to come back to our heaven posture. Arms are gonna float up. Step forward, hand someone a ball. Right foot follows. Take a breath. And back. Hands float forward, palms forward. Stepping out. And back, single whip. Then we're gonna wave hands like clouds. Three steps, one. Two, and three. And 
get to the corner there, that last third, we're facing forward, you're gonna take a breath. Hands flip forward, single whip out the other direction. Wave hands like clouds, one, Two, three, and when we get to the center, we bring the hands together, Qigong breath, and back. So let's do it again. Do this though, shake everything off. Sometimes when you first start doing Tai Chi, um, because the way the body moves and we might be holding some tension. Sometimes you can get a little bit of low back issues. So oh, just take a moment and jiggle everything. And then let's try it again. So I'm finding my heaven posture. I'm gonna try to kind of just consider like just feeling that connection I've got through my feet. Okay, so then I'm gonna sink in, the arms float up. Step forward, hands and one ball. Right foot follows hips distance. Inhale. Qigong breath. Okay. Palms float forward, single whip. And back. Three clouds. Here we go. One. Only turn as much as feels right to your waist, right? We're not trying to be an owl here. Two. And three. Qigong breath. And then palms float forward. Single whip. Wave like clouds. One. Two. And we get back to the center, Qigong breath. So we're going to do this, I think, two more times through, and then we'll do some little stretches for the end. Okay. So find your heaven posture. Feel yourself almost like you're lifting up to heaven. Solid feet on the floor. Little sink. Arms float up. Step forward, and hand someone a ball. Right foot follows, inhale. So the hands are gonna float forward, and then I'm taking that single whip, and coming back. Wave hands like clouds. Sometimes I get going in this and I forget you guys are there, so I'm gonna try to stay present. <laughs> I can go way inside my own head in here. Okay. It's one of my favorite kinds of movement. Here we go. One more. And then we're going to do a Qigong breath. Okay. Hands flip forward. Single whip the other way. Wave hands like clouds. our last one. As you feel your weight shift to the center, take a big breath. All right, last round through here. Heaven posture. Embodying my connection between the earth and the sky. Allowing myself to find that chi, that energy in my hands. Step forward, hand it off. Right foot follows, breath. Hands float forward, single whip. Wave in hands like clouds. One. Two. I've been 
am known to get lost in the clouds and figure out that I've done about 12 of them before, so <laughs> it might be okay to do more than three, but we're gonna stop there and do a single whip, or I mean a Qigong breath. And then the single whip going the other way. So out and back and wave hands like clouds. One more time. I often do Tai Chi with my eyes closed once I learn it. Inhale, and then back. Now, yogis, we're gonna bow to each other. And usually the traditional way to bow in Tai Chi is to have one hand that's a fist, that's your right hand. That represents your strength and your power. Your left hand open represents friendship. Your thumb tucked in represents humility. So we bring strength, friendship and humility together and bow to each other. <laughs> so let's do a quick little wide angle forward bend. You're gonna take your legs out wide, fold forward. Now you can bend at the knee a little bit because we're gonna sway a little side to side. If you and your hamstrings are just finding each other this morning, do a little side to side back and forth with your knees bent. Oh, I like to lean back, almost like I'm doing a downward dog, but wider in the angle there. Oh. And feel any release of any tension that might have happened in your back. This is an unusual thing to do um, for the body. And um, some people, uh, you know, it's a, it's a different way of using the core. So some of us might experience a little bit of um, discomfort initially. And I find that if you just give yourself a chance to do it just long enough to feel pretty good um, and then add some of those stretches at the end to make everything feel um, like it's kind of back in place that's the way to go now this style of Tai Chi you guys can keep stretching and just listen <laughs> this style of Tai Chi comes from um, a style called the Sun style it's spelled like Sun S-U-N but pronounced Sun um, and it is uh, this is a little tiny abbreviated version of it. And what we've done today is just half of it. Next week, I'll teach you the second half and then we'll put it together. But um, the, the full soon style is amazingly beautiful. It has almost a hundred different moves to it. So if you wanna check that out, you can definitely look that up online and see what the um, full version looks like. Again, this is a version that's really meant for everybody and hopefully it was um, enough friendly for you that you could get started with it. Namaste. <laughs> Thanks for joining me.